In today's video, we're gonna talk about why your snowboarding has plateaued, and more importantly, how the heck do we overcome it? What's up guys, my name is Simon Bennett. I'm a snowboard coach and the goal of this video is to literally help you overcome the plateau by understanding your body positions. Body positions are literally holding you back from becoming the rider you wanna be. Whether that's riding POW, hitting gnarly cliffs, becoming an awesome park rider, or doing some gnarly carves. So when it comes to body position, there is this thing in the instructor world, it's called reference alignment. There's three big components, and the first one I'm gonna start with is your shoulders parallel to the terrain. What that means is being in an athletic stance, and as it gets steeper, your body matches that terrain. As it's flat, you match the terrain. If you're hitting a jump and it's steep on the landing, match the terrain. If you're hitting a cliff and the landing's gnarly, match the terrain. And the second reference alignment is your lead shoulder perpendicular to the angle of your lead foot. Most snowboarders are actually in this crazy, uh, less awesome position, which simply means their lead shoulder is super wound up, all their weight's in the back seat, and it's not a very good body position to be in, because it's like trying to have a really high performance, super awesome car, but the front wheels never touch the ground, you're not gonna be able to really do much. Then the last one is keeping your center of mass over the effective edge. What that simply means is my all of my weight is on my toe side edge as I'm on my toe side turn. If I'm on a heel side turn, my weight's over my heel side edge. And if you miss that one, if you mess that one up, that's when you catch an edge. So I'd like to announce that I've started a Discord server. Essentially, Discord is a way for us as awesome snowboarders to come together and connect in so many different ways. And the first thing I wanted to highlight is that we have implemented and created a friend finder. Essentially, if you're in Colorado, East Coast, wherever coast it is, you can go here, you can type in, hey dudes, are you snowboarding copper? Are you snowboarding big snow? Are you snowboarding wherever? And you can actually connect with other people and go meet up. In addition to that, if you have questions about gear or struggling with a trick, you can go here on the side of the page. There's so many different options. You guys can start jumping in, start chatting, start hanging out with a bunch of like-minded people. And the whole goal of this Discord server is to elevate the experience of your snowboarding. So if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely type in there and introduce yourself to the chat. Awesome, guys. On that note, let's get back to the show. Now, in my thoughts, but the biggest reason why you're in a plateau is because you're not in the right body position at the right time, allowing you to maximize your performance efficiency or be in the optimal position to have the desired outcome. So as most snowboarders ride around, they have their lead shoulder super open. Now, the downside about that is if I want to make a toe side turn, I have to make a significant movement to get there. And that might be very late, might be very delayed, or it's over powerful because it's such a big movement. And then you're essentially putting all your weight on your back knee and then how are you going to be able to handle all the craziness of the bumps the trees the terrain that's at you you're not in a position that's going to have as many options as you can so what I want you to do is start in a neutral position, which does mean that you're following those reference alignments, but you're also allowing your weight to be distributed between both feet. So if you land or you need to handle the terrain, that you're actually handling the terrain with both knees. But this is called reference alignment, 
So what if I'm doing different tricks in riding trees? Should I always only be in this stance? We're gonna talk about it in a second. comes to reference alignment essentially that means referring back to that now I love to be in that strong optimal position such as the reference when it comes to landing tricks so if I'm hitting a jump I like to land back in that position because I'm able to distribute the pressure between both of my knees and allow me to maintain balance as much as possible and that really is why I'm able to land a lot of tricks is because I'm able to absorb with both knees at the same time but of course, as a reference alignment, that's something that we gotta refer back to. And it's totally okay and expected to get out of reference and alignment as long as you know when to get out and when to get back. So we're gonna go through a couple different scenarios talking about when I should be in this stance, when should I get out, and when should I come back. The first thing we're gonna dive into is some basic carving. Of course, when you're doing any carving, just watch out for people. I'm gonna do some across the fall line, so just watch out. Uh, the stance that I'm gonna talk about is ideally I'm able to keep my weight distributed over the length of my edge, both on my toe side and, the, and on the heel side edge. I'm gonna make a nice defined line in the snow, not a skid, but a line. With this body position, you're gonna notice that my weight is distributed between both of my knees. I'm in that reference alignment and all I'm doing is leaning into it so that I'm able to carve the snowboard. This stance right here is not the ideal stance. All my weight in the back seat, I don't have any control. I feel like a ginormous boat that has no control. This is so burning on my leg where all I do is stand up straight in athletic position. I'm able to now handle the train better. I'm able to be in a stronger position. More importantly, I can make very sporadic movements because now I have a lot more movement options to do whatever I want. I can start spinning around and doing tricks like that because I'm in now in a position that allows me to be in more neutral. So when it comes to basic carving, you wanna be in more of an inclinated position, which just simply means I lean over. But if I'm able to have my shoulders, hips, and knees distributed evenly left and right, I'm able to put more even pressure on the edge, allowing me to slice. I have a whole nother video if you're looking for a how to carve video, link in the description. But you're gonna notice the second half of those turns, as I lean super far back, see, I don't have the same response. I don't have the same outcome. I'm trying to carve, but I don't have the body position that allows me to carve. So all of a sudden, I'm really frustrated and annoyed because I can't carve, but it just stemmed from not being in the right body position, which is gonna be more stacked in that athletic strong position. And in freestyle, we definitely want to be in reference some of the time, but it is very situational. So, for example, as I'm doing a board side with a 270 out, I want my lead shoulder no longer to be parallel, but I want my weight on my back foot, my lead shoulder open, and what that's going to do is allow the rotation to continue. But it goes back to being in an optimized position for, for the desired outcome. I want to be able to anticipate I want my body to keep rotating to do a 270 out. So I got to put my body in that position. Now let's say I take my lead shoulder and I put it in the opposite direction. Well, I'm not going to get the desired outcome because I'm not in the right body position. When I'm doing a 360, I love to bring my knees up and look in the direction I'm going. But once again, I need to continue that rotation. So I need to be in optimal position for the rotation. 
but it's not just the rotation, it does stem from everything above. And when it comes down to it, you gotta snowboard more so you can experience as many different situations as possible. Now when it comes to landing a trick or falling or, or being successful, I don't look at that as a good thing or a bad thing. I look at it as, if I fell, why? What can I learn from it? If I landed it and did it right, what did I learn from it? So when it comes down to your snowboarding, understanding different body positions is gonna be very important. Okay, Tommy, are you gonna go through every situation in the world about body positions? Kind of. If you check out my Instagram, I do daily breakdowns where I break down body position, body position, body positions for turns, carves, 360s, 540s, 720s, all sorts of super fun stuff. So if you're looking for specific situations, check out my Instagram. Greg literally just found me on the slopes and gave us $20 to help support the cause. Dude, thank you so much. You're welcome, dude. I, I tried to donate online. Got to see you in person. So. Let's go. Lunch on Shout him. out. Lunch on him. Let's go. What we're gonna dive into now is give you an actual drill to make you more awesome and understand how to ride in this stance. So go get your snowboard, strap in, and you can do this at home or on the hill. All right, so the drill, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna understand how to stay in alignment. So what we're simply gonna do is point our board across the fall line. So as you go across the fall line, of course, check uphill, make sure you're not cutting anyone off, whether it's your fault or not, getting hurt sucks. So you're gonna go across the fall line, take your belly button and put it between your boards. So you're actually gonna be dead center on your snowboard. Then you're gonna take your lead shoulder, put it perpendicular to your lead foot, and then you're only gonna turn your eyes. You're gonna be in this position. Now as you go across the fall line, what I want you to do is do three medium hops. The goal is to look back in the line of snow and have your board stay at the same angle across the fall line as you do it. Now, what you may notice is if your lead shoulder is open 45 degrees and you do a hop, your board is gonna turn sideways, which means you're no longer able to jump off toes and land back on toes. So go ahead and perform that task again and hop three times across the fall line where you're actually taking off your toes then you're landing on your toes while your board does not rotate. Again, if your lead shoulder is open, you will rotate. Now you're gonna do this both on your heel side and your toe side edge. The next drill I want us to dive into is we're gonna point our, point our board straight down the fall line and we're gonna stay perfectly flat between both of our feet. And as we look uphill, we should have a nice smooth line in the snow. What we're not trying to do is have our lead shoulder open, which will naturally make our board rotate. And then our board's gonna feel like a little pinball machine bouncing around all over the place. That's what we're trying to avoid. So if you need a friend to film this, to see if there's any snow spring, any snow spring is a bad thing, and that's a good indication that you're not doing it right. Get back in that nice, strong, optimal position, point your board down the fall line, don't have any snow spring. If you're in that position where your shoulder's open, naturally that's gonna translate going down to the bottom of your board, and it's gonna make the snow spray and be really sketchy, and honestly, I feel like it, it's very uncomfortable. So ideally, I just have my knees bent, my weight centered, and I'm here. Now, if I'm on a catwalk or a long run like this, I can have a small tilt, meaning I'm pressing my shins against the front of my boots, and I have a five to 10 degree angle. Look how strong and solid and comfortable I look, but I also feel very comfortable too. Now, like I said earlier, I'm in this position where I'm more neutral, and now I can have my lower body turn. I can do all sorts of really fun stuff because I'm in now in that centered, neutral, awesome position. And then at times I can turn my shoulders in opposition when I need it to. If I'm trying to do a board slide, I can turn my shoulders, but I'm still in a nice, even neutral position. Hope you guys liked that little video today. And if you feel like I missed anything or it doesn't make any sense, let me know in the comments below because I can make a 2.0 version of this video. Also join my live stream where I'm able to answer your questions more immediately because I'm there to hang out, get to know you, you know me. A live stream is a live Q&A. On that note, nothing but love, we out.